Hey guys, what's going on? This is Linus here with iOS Jailbreak Zone, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make custom Zeppelin logos for your iDevice. Now, you must be jailbroken for this as these are Zeppelin logos, and you can find the link down below to my latest jailbreak tutorial. You will also have to open SSH into your device, and I do have a video tutorial for that as well, and you can find that link down below. Although that is shown in iOS 6, you can still use the same method for iOS 7. Alright, guys, without further ado, let's get started. Alright guys, so once you're on your computer or your Mac and you have your SSH client open, all you have to do is just go into your iDevice and if you do get any errors like that, just be sure to hit yes. And as you can see right now on my computer, my file system is open and we'll just go back once, twice, three times and we should be back into our root folder. Alright guys, once you are in that, all you have to do is just open up the library folder in there and then go into Zeppelin. Now as you can see, if I open up any of these folders, you will be able to see some files in there. And once your photo editing software is open, all you have to do is just go into file, create a new file, and then go into the width. We want that to be 100, and for the height, it has to be 40. Alright guys, use the same dimensions or it will not work for your device. Alright guys, once you've got that ready, just hit OK, and then it should create a new file. And once that is ready guys, you can basically do anything you like with it. Alright guys, once you have taken the time to edit the photo, all you have to do is just save it. And we want to save it as a PNG file. And the title for this has to be black at 2x. So let me just name it that. Black at 2x. And then we want to hit save. Alright guys, once it is saved, you want to open up the folder that it's saved in. And in that folder, you want to create another folder and call it whatever you like. For this, I'm just going to call it subscribe button. Because the picture that I've got is of a subscribe button from YouTube. And then once you're done with that, all you have to do is just drag the file and copy it into the folder and once you've done that you want to copy the same file twice and paste it in the same directory once you've done that guys you want to rename one of these as edge.2x so let me just do that right now and the last one you want to name silver at 2x alright guys once all of that is done you're almost done with your computer and all you have to do now is just drag the folder that has all the files in it and you want to drag it into WinSCP or Cyberduck and into your Zeppelin folder. So as you can see, I'm just going to drag and drop it. And once you've done that, just hit copy if it asks you. And I've finished that. And now you're done with your computer. Alright guys, once you've done that, you want to open up settings and scroll down until you find Zeppelin. And once you're in Zeppelin, you want to go into Team. And then select the team that you just created. Alright guys, as you can see, I'm all done on my device. And I do have the subscribe button team that I just created using Photoshop. And that is basically it for this video guys. If you did enjoy this and if you were able to create your own custom Zeppelin logo, please give this video a thumbs up. It does help me out a ton. And if you'd like to see more great tutorials like this, please be sure to subscribe down below. As then you will be notified every time I upload tutorials like this. So guys, thanks again for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.